Welcome back! Nasa bansa na naman ang ilang top international basketball coaches para sa 2018 World Hoops Clinic na pinangungunahan ni Ateneo Blue Eagles head coach Tab Baldwin. Sa clinic na ito, naibabahagi ng foreign coaches ang kanilang knowledge sa kanilang Filipino counterparts. And here with us tonight on The Score are coaches Ertugrul, Erdogan, and Coach Paul Henare. Guys, thank you so much for coming here to The Score tonight. I know it's a big day for you all tomorrow as you have the World Hoops Clinic 2.0. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Coach, I'll start with you. You're from New Zealand. Um, can I get a little bit of a background on, uh, on you, Coach, and uh, what you can share to the aspiring Filipino coaches tomorrow? Um, yeah, well, I'm, I'm here because of my relationship with Tab. Um, mm -hmm. I've known Tab from our time in, in New Zealand. I played for Tab and, and we were Tab for a long, long time. And um, you know, really you know, happy to be here and uh, you know, really looking forward to working with the other coaches as well and learning from them. But that's what the, the clinic is all about, is about uh, us sharing our, our thoughts and our experiences. Um, it doesn't mean we're right, we just have uh, our ideas about how we do certain things and, uh, and hopefully the, all the coaches that attend um, will you know, walk away from it. They don't have to agree with it, but at least you know, spark some, some <laughs> thoughts and, uh, uh, and, and maybe question some of the things that they're doing um, in, in their own coaching. And this is the second time that the World Hoops Clinic is taking place. We see some of the videos here. And there we see Coach Tab. He was very happy last year when he was on the show and introducing to the public about the World Hoops Clinic. And he brought you guys, new friends, to share additional knowledge. And we also have from Turkey, Coach Earth. So, Coach Earth, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, a little bit about your background, and what the aspiring coaches can expect from you? Well, I'm here because of Tab. We know each other last, you know, 12 years. He was working uh, for a Turkish team. We met each other. So this is the first time in Malina and the Philippines. You know, it's really, you know, excited for me. And uh, I was working for many years in Fenerbahce, mm -hmm. and last couple of years, I've been working for Istanbul team, okay. Istanbul IBB. So I was assistant coach in national team, yes. in Turkish national team, and. Well, honestly, you know, I would like to put my ideas on the court for the coaches. But uh, as Paul said that, you know, this is kind of, you know, sharing the ideas. Mm. This is not 100% correct. This is not 100% wrong. Okay, just, just, you know, spark their ideas on their mind and put some, you know, new stuff, maybe European stuff. Yes. Maybe European type of basketball knowledge. So I hope uh, it's f uh, helpful for the Philippines basketball and the coaches. All right. And this starts tomorrow at 12 noon. There will be a registration at BGC at New Life Christian School. Any coach can come, whether it be a developmental coach, high school coach, college coach, PBA coach. You guys are there to help. And I was looking at the schedule, and you guys have specific coaching methods that yes. you guys are going to share to the participants. I'm going to start with you, Coach Paul. I know you're going to be available for day number one and day number two in this three-day clinic. What are you going to be teaching specifically? Uh, so in, uh, on, on the first day, um, I'm going to be talking about uh, offensive rebounding, uh, but, but tied in with a defensive transition mm -hmm. and some philosophies around that. And, uh, you know, that, that's something, you know, for me that I've only just been working with for the last year and, uh -huh. and having a lot of fun with just some, some different ideas there. And, uh, and on the second day, um, just some offensive transition uh, flowing, flowing into half-court offense. So, um, yeah, really, really looking forward to it. And, of course, Coach Earth will come in day number two and you'll be yes. one of the last coaches to teach on day three. What are you going to be teaching on both those days? Well, first day on my session, we're going to talk about pick and roll defense. But there are many ways of defending pick and roll, but we're going to show uh, one certain and basic defense in Europe. And the second session about zone offenses, typical zone offenses, what we use in Europe in mm. Turkish league, and the press break. Mm, yes. I mean, zone press or man-to-man -man press break. And we're going to talk about a couple of details, and I'm, I'm thinking that it's, it's, really, it's really, you know, different than your basketball and I, I hope I'm gonna learn something from the coaches I hope they're gonna ask a lot of questions about our you know sessions <laughs> and this is very important because by this way I, I, ha I, I, I got some knowledge about Philippines basketball too yeah. Yeah, we have some uh, prominent Philippine basketball coaches like Topex Robinson and Coach yes. Norman Black who are also part of the World Hoops Clinic. But uh, going back 
to where you guys come from, New Zealand and Turkey, I just want to ask, because we here in the Philippines, we're mad crazy about the game of basketball. And I just want to ask how you compare the culture of basketball in New Zealand, the culture of basketball in Turkey, to the type of culture that we have here in the Philippines. And what can you share with us from your knowledge over there from here? Uh, well, I think, first of all, I've, I've never seen anything like a... Like, like it is in the Philippines in terms of basketball where everybody everybody can talk hoops and uh, you know it's really uh, unique for me coming from New Zealand you know basketball for a long time was a sport that was um, not really played by a lot of people but uh, it, it's now the fastest growing sport in New Zealand um, it's the third most popular sport um, in, in schools uh, in New Zealand and, and the predictions with, with the growth is it'll be the most popular sport in schools by 2020 so um, there, there's some good good things happening in the sport but uh, you know it's uh, we're still very young in terms of um, you know our, our history um, especially on the world stage so you know we're always trying to improve um, coaches players um, so so we can compete with with the likes of you know powerhouses like like Turkey and all the European mm -hmm. countries and USA and all, all, the, all those you know, great nations um, that, that have played, played the game for so long. Coach Eric? Well, honestly, football, I mean, soccer is big time in Turkey, but we love basketball too. But uh, it's really amazing how Philippines, you know, uh, take a look at the basketball here and they, they're really interested in basketball and they love basketball. This, this, this is amazing. And, and in Turkey, actually, we love basketball, but more than this, we love clubs, you know. Okay. A huge fan of the, you know, Fenerbahce, for example, now playing Euroleague for the championship. Most of the people, you know, loves that, you know, competition, but because of Fenerbahce, actually. So uh, the basketball is kind of, you know, new culture for Turkey after football. Yes. Uh, we show up some, you know, important, you know, stages in World Cup championship and European championship, but basically, you know, I cannot say that, you know, the people really, you know, taking care of basketball like in Philippines, you know. All right. Now, I'm sure a lot of the coaches watching right now are very excited to be a part of this World Hoops Clinic tomorrow, 12 noon. That's the registration time. But they also want to know who are the biggest stars from the countries that you come from, from New Zealand and from Turkey. Who are the biggest basketball stars from where you come from in, in the world? Oh, well, one of the, one of the biggest stars, probably the biggest star from, from New Zealand was actually at the the World Hoops Clinic last year, um, Piero Cameron. Um, he just got inducted to the um, FIBA Hall of Fame last year, and um, you know, in 2002, when we had a, a good run, we finished fourth in, uh, in, the, in the World Champs. Uh, Piero was named in the All Star Five at that tournament, so you know, it was great for him to come out here last year and uh, and have that experience with the clinic. But uh, you know, there, there's no bigger name in sport right now in New Zealand than Steve Adams and uh, yep. and, and what he's doing in the NBA and, and the career he's carving out for himself. So you know, they're, they're probably two of the biggest names right now. And he was here last year, Stephen Adams, the big Kiwi. What about from Turkey, Coach? Well, we had some names actually. Now, President of Federation, Basketball Federation, Hido Turkoldo. Yes. Mehmet Okur mm -hmm. from Utah Jazz. And now, I mean, we have some young, you know, friends in Cleveland, J.D. Osman. Some guys now played in Philadelphia, Furkan Korkmaz. I mean, we have some players in NBA, but some, some players in Europe too. I mean, we can say that, you know, we have, you know, a couple of players more. But I don't want to call name by name <laughs> because, you know, star, I don't know, star means, you know. So they are good players. All right, so we're all set tomorrow, 12 noon, at the BGC New Life Christian School. It's the World Hoops Clinic 2.0. For more information, you can check out their uh, account on Facebook. That's World Hoops Clinic. And tonight, we, of course, had Coach Paul Henare and Coach Ertugul Erdogan here on the show. Coach, uh, guys, maraming salamat and uh, good luck in this three-day clinic, World Hoops Clinic 2.0. Thank you. Thank you. Susunod ang latest results sa 2018 French Open. Stay with us. For more sports updates, keep watching The Score. And don't forget to subscribe.